Well, that's what I was just going to say. Let me explain the technical hacking. It's so formulaic, and McClellan said most communications in the 20th century are formulaic. Here's the, the human mind is dumbly watching a story unfold and is duped by all the little tricks. Like you just said, hacky, you know, this person ends up marrying someone you don't expect. But the, the point I'm saying is that when, is that when you, you watch TV or these shows, it starts off interesting and you're curious, but the punchline is always the same. What that means is the formula is always the same. They lay you down a garden path with a little story that had to use the traditional tricks to make you get surprised for a little bit and then resolve it. That is the whole experience. It's like Dylan said he stopped taking LC because it was useless. It's after a while, you watch these TV shows, they would become preceded the way time because it's always your brain just be dumbed down and step by step. But the amazing is your brain loves it. You can't stop your brain. It's, it's like playing a video game. Yeah. I mean, it's the same shit over and over again, but you enjoy the process of it while yeah. it's happening. And so that's what I think that's what you meant by saying with hacking. You wake up to the fact, no, you forget that you enjoy the process and think, well, what did this mean? You forget that it was just the process of enjoyment. And if you look for some kind of larger purpose, you say, oh, that was just a reason that hacking. That Okay. But, but that, that, that category is irrelevant. You will continue to engage. And this oh, is totally yeah. you'll, you'll keep watching the same thing over and over again. Right. right. And, and McClellan says this is the basic tribal sensibility and why they're so ritualistic. So he was pointing out that electric 20th century, the Marconi galaxy, was retrieving ritualistic behavior, which sophisticated people, literate people, pissed off people, angry people would go on rants about everybody's turning into a zombie. Everybody's becoming dumbed down. All those good isms. That was a big, yeah, it was like, uh, this was some old McLuhan audio where he'd be talking to these, these, uh, these just swear old fuck. Yeah. That was just like, oh, oh, you're, you're shocking. You're a shocking guy. You understand why you're why why people are shocked by this. Oh, you know who that was? That, was? that is Lord Thompson, you know, the multi-millionaire. The, the old guy and McClellan sitting at a desk. And, and this yeah, guy says he is one of the multi famous Canadians, very super wealthy, who goes over to England and becomes a lord or something, and he runs all the newspapers. And it's so funny, there's the you know, the poor professor talking to a billionaire, and the billionaire is going, you're a shark! And he's basically telling them, like, uh, don't get too attached to those books because they're on their way out. Maybe. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and, and this guy makes his live lots of it up, people reading newspapers, and he gets for the one point, says, you're saying that my newspapers are out to leave? And we're going to say, yes, it's that shocking. <laughs> I thought you'd just be a nice, friendly professor telling me the story, but I thought you'd shock you. <laughs> it's 1966. 1965-66. Yeah, he's telling them, guys, yeah, he's basically telling them what is happening now. What is actually happening right now with the New York Times and everybody in economic trouble, right? Yeah, yeah. 